Okay, so here I am opening this car, and I'm stupid because I already started before I started recording, but I can't tell if it's easy to see. That screw looks rusty, which I don't know if that's like a sign of age, like legit age. I mean, this thing has been sealed. Where's the air that's causing that? I mean, it oxidizes oxidize to get rust, right? So, I don't know. It's kind of strange. I'm not sure. And the cart looks clean, for sure. I'm going to go ahead and, with my shaky camera work here, see if I can one hand turn this screw. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Okay, that's all right. Using... There, here, look at the manual while I do this. <laughs> um, okay, so this screw is now out. Yeah. Okay, so again, kind of a rusty looking screw, but I don't know. I'm just not sure. Maybe that's just weird materials or something. Okay, so this board looks awful clean, which is a good sign. And oh, right, this is the Majesco thing. So the Majesco boards do look kind of weird compared to something else, but I think this is correct. Jessica Sales, Earthworm, Sega. I've seen kind of these weird num this weird numbering thing on those boards, and it's like fewer pins and stuff. So I feel like this is legit. I'll have to compare against some other um, boards on like Reddit or something. But I think that's the right. I think that's the right game. I think that is a legit game. It's just weird that the screws were all rusty. That just doesn't seem. I just don't know how they would rust inside of a box. Like, I thought you had to have air to get to get that oxygen. And this, I mean, it was it was mostly. Although again, it did have. So here's the here's the box now. It did have the break in the seal there, and I mean, it clearly was open to air at one point in time. So this has definitely been resealed. Again, I'm gonna have to get to the point where I actually open this box to to look at that tear in the cardboard. Now I want to open this guy. I'm going to try to open it from the top. I think that's probably where it was. Open from. So let me just pause this real quick because I don't want I don't want to do this one-handed. Okay, so this is interesting. So I didn't actually open the box all the way. It it mostly opened from the top here. But what I what it started doing was I, it was getting caught on this bottom edge. So what I actually did was just kind of, just kind of ballooned it a little bit like that, and then just slid the manual out. And so the manual came out the way it is. So it was was upside down, because this is the way the box should have been, and this is the way it was inside. As you saw earlier, it was like that. So I just flipped it. Uh, but now inside this manual, which looks, and I think these were black and white. I have to double check that, but I think these are black and white. It's got the warranty registration card right there on page 20, which I think, is, I mean, I don't know for sure, but it feels, it is the middle, so it makes sense that it would be there. Sorry, it's shaky camera work again. Um, this is a legit manual. And I have to double check if it's black and white. Normally, but yeah, I mean... Looks, I mean, the Majesco being the re, the re, um, release, I would imagine it black and white just to save money. That's a registration card in the middle. And looks correct to me. So yeah, um, my guess is this was just a game that was purchased, return, you know, returned, resealed. And then resold as as a legit game. So, I mean, again, there's, I mean, it's on the plat. You can tell it's on that Toys R Us sticker. It's, I'm gonna lift this up from the from the base. I mean, that sticker is on there, legit. So yeah, I think that's what happened. So some of these, it's gonna be really hard to tell if they were the same thing, where they were, you know, opened and resealed or not. Um, I think anything from Toys R Us that likely has a likelihood that that was a reseal. So, all right, learned a little bit.
and got to see that this card is legit. Game seems everything seems together, but man, look at that. I mean, that's a that's a really clean label. So somebody must have just you know took it out, checked it out, been like, no, nah, don't want it. No, it is actually that is a little bit off, isn't it? Hmm, that's interesting. It's not quite square on there. All right, I'm gonna have to do a couple compare. I have to find some real ones, confirmed real ones, and it could just be sloppy manufacturing too, right? I mean, Jesco was just trying to slap these out, and maybe they just didn't do a great job on that. Because otherwise, I think it looks correct. All right, well. See if I do another one of these. I don't really want to break any more of these open, but if it looks like it's probably not legit, then I may just do that and then treat it like it's a complete inbox rather than sealed. So there you go. Cool. Peace.